CD2. Reading and Vocabulary Series 4. Concepts and Comments. Third Edition. By Patricia Ackert and Linda Lee. Copyright 2006. Published by Heinley, a division of Thompson Learning. All rights reserved. Unit 4, Science and Technology. Unit 4, Lesson 1, Satellites. In astronomy, satellites are defined as bodies that travel around a planet. Our moon is a satellite because it orbits the Earth. In addition to these natural satellites, there are many human-made satellites revolving around the Earth and other planets in our solar system. Some of these satellites orbit at very high altitudes of more than 32,000 kilometers from Earth, while others stay close to Earth at altitudes of about 250 kilometers. Each human-made satellite sent into space has a special mission or purpose based on the kind of satellite it is. The six major kinds of human-made satellites in space are weather satellites, scientific research satellites, Earth observation satellites, communication satellites, navigation satellites, and military satellites. Weather satellites help scientists monitor the weather patterns on Earth. Information from weather satellites is invaluable for making weather forecasts and warning of potentially dangerous weather conditions such as hurricanes and tornadoes. Weather satellites travel in what is called low Earth orbit, LEO. That means they travel between 320 and 800 kilometers above the Earth. A satellite at this altitude can get detailed pictures of our planet, but it has to travel very fast to prevent gravity from pulling it back to Earth. Some of these satellites travel as fast as 27,000 kilometers per hour, orbiting the Earth in just 90 minutes. Scientific research satellites travel in space collecting information and conducting experiments to help us better understand the solar system. For example, a satellite called SOHO is studying the atmosphere, surface, and internal activity of the Sun. Satellites can serve as unique research laboratories. For example, it's possible to grow high-quality human protein crystals and tissue cultures inside a space station because gravity is so low, almost zero. Without the pressure of gravity, the crystals can grow equally in all directions. Deciphering the protein codes of these crystals may help in the development of new medicines to combat diabetes, cancer, and other diseases. The tissue cultures may also be used to test new cancer treatments. Earth observation satellites are used to observe rainforests, water supplies, and other natural resources and to monitor environmental problems such as pollution and deforestation. These satellites are important because they can help control the spread of disease in crops and forests. They can also detect fires and floods before they become too big. We use communication satellites for voice, data, and television communications around the world. These satellites serve as relay stations, receiving information from one place and sending it on to another place. Most communication satellites stay at a high altitude of about 35,000 kilometers above the Earth. Because of their speed and the size of their orbit, these satellites revolve around in 24 hours. Because the rate at which they travel is the same as the rate of rotation of the Earth, the satellites remain over the same place on the Earth's surface. This area on Earth is called the satellite's footprint. If a satellite's footprint covered Africa, for example, a person would use this satellite when communicating with other people in Africa. When someone in Africa wanted to communicate with someone in a different footprint, the message would be relayed using more than one satellite. Today, there are roughly 100 communication satellites orbiting the Earth, each with a lifespan of 12 to 13 years, 
At any one time, a large communication satellite can carry more than 100,000 telephone calls and several television signals. Navigation satellites help guide ships at sea and airplanes in the sky. Computers on the ships and planes can calculate their position using the information they receive from satellites. Many cars in the 21st century have a global position system, or GPS. A GPS is so versatile, it can navigate a car around a city block or across an entire country. Military satellites are weather, communication, and observation satellites used for military purposes. Some military satellites are called spy satellites because they monitor the activities of other countries and send the information back to their ground stations. These satellites can take extraordinarily detailed pictures of things on the ground, which makes them a powerful tool for the military. For example, they can provide information on the position of ships and aircraft as well as the movement of troops on the ground. Military satellites are also used to ensure safe communications between ships, aircraft, and ground stations. In addition to taking photographs, military satellites have also been used in modern warfare to direct missiles and destroy specific targets. Satellites are able to stay up in space because they move fast and because the Earth's gravity keeps them there. Imagine tying an object to the end of a long string and spinning it around in the air. The object will remain in motion as long as it is moving fast and the string remains connected. If you stop or cut the string, the object will fall. This is how satellites work. Sometimes they have problems and need to be repaired. While this can usually be done from Earth by computers, it may be necessary for people to go into space to repair them. If they cannot be repaired, they are simply disabled and left to float in space forever. This is what is called space junk. It was roughly 50 years ago that the former Soviet Union sent the first human-made satellite into orbit. The football-sized satellite was appropriately named Sputnik, which means satellite in Russian. Sputnik 2 went up one month later, carrying a dog named Laika, the first animal to go into space. Since that time, hundreds of satellites have been sent into orbit around the Earth and other planets in the solar system with the goal of collecting valuable information for people on Earth.